Yo, what up, baby? It's your boy Stewie the Gamer here. Uh, today we are back with some more Madden NFL 21. We are in week 11. We are going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're 7 and 2, and they're 2 and 7. So let's see if we can bounce back from the loss from last week. making their way out and with their longtime starter Ben Roethlisberger leading the way he had the numbers of a game last week that if you win you talk about him being a gritty guy managing the game getting it done but they lost so obviously two interceptions one touchdown pass that's not going to be good enough you nope. gotta get that changed around Let's see if we can get it they'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Okay, okay. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I'm talking about. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. A gain of 17 yards. They've got good play. They're going to let Connor run. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and they hold down their production, but... Oh, yeah. This week I'm practice, talking about. There's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start. Oh, he's injured? You Are you kidding me? Pre-game. That's what One play. There. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really God. gets on them, and that's how they All right. them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. There we go, Juju. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars. I'm keeping Connor, man. Connor's my man. Up of 17 and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, it's Connor. I'm talking about. For Connor and then some. And he'll finally be oh, yeah. down at the 18. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. Uh, you yep. Should get it. Establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork oh, yep. right now for them. Eleven more on that one. And Come on, Connor. You want another touchdown? Get it. And there we go. That's what I was talking about. I knew it. Bang you. Hell yeah. Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. That's how I like to start games right there. Exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone, they do it on the ground. So we gotta bounce back from that loss last week. Of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves. Sticking it in the end zone on a running play. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a seven nothing game. Boswell now to kick it away after not very accurate. Oh. Now DD Westbrook to return. The lane opens here. Mm. past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Oh, Minshew. Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at their 35 yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Come on, guys. They get better on this pass defense. From the midfield strike, Come on. Get off of him. There we go. Sack him. Hell yeah. Pressure too much here. He's going down. Bud Dupree in there to bury him for a loss of 11. The There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out everything. 
every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. One. Oh. Now a deep ball there on Should have had that. It'll wind up incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And now it's third down. Should have been an interception, man. Last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. It's caught yep. right side by Robinson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Man. 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. Well, I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now we're screaming, somebody get him down. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. That first second, I thought he was going down at the fucking one. I was going to be like, ah! Oh. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stroke. Oh! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Juju. Hell yeah. That was a bad throw. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. Out of a That's fucking a sack. For him, as I see it. And he, but the truth of the he made it. Hell yeah. The ball was not streaking towards him. Hell arm. no, who wasn't? He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Come on, Connor. Connor on first down, able to take this one about forward six. for about six. Yep. Ball carrier. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football. Over close, yeah. Third and one. Usually translates into wins. And they're open to do it consistently here. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Oh, come on. He stepped over? Very close to a first down, but I see the did he, uh, Did he not? I'm trying that again. Looked like he stepped over, but you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. It's close. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. Oh, I broke one tackle. Pick up of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Taken down at the 11-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Oh, man, I was about to hike it. I didn't even pay attention what time it was. All right. Let's see here. Only needing two yards on second down. Now Ben gonna give this one to oh. Connor. And nope. he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. He was taken down at the play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. So if we can get them offside. Nope. All right. Out of the gun. It's Roethlisberger. There we go. And he finds McDonald. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. First and goal at the seven-yard line. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got it. And he's in. Mm -hmm. Touchdown, Steelers. Touchdown. James Conner with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. That's what I'm talking Steelers about, baby. Find a way to stretch their lead. It's got a rushing touchdown and a catching football, touchdown. As close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, go. what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold it. About two now. The early storm. Relax a little bit and try and get back See to if we can keep this drive. momentum going now. For panic. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. With another return now, here's Westbrook. There we go. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
<laughs> he just fucking slipped. For the second time here in this game, and they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage, or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer, and make sure you find the guy. Oh come on! I hit him hard enough for it to jar it loose. Oh come on! It should have been stopping behind that line. Boom. Lay you out. Cut him out right here. Or not. That's cool, guys. Come on, thank you. Throwing again on second down. Minshew got an open man, Keelan Cole. And he takes it down to the 10 yard. Yeah, I gotta be on them. 16 yards. The hell, people. First down. So, not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the 5 yard line. A gain of six there on first. A six yard From the five, second and four. At the Steelers' five yard line. Now a second down throw right. for the end zone, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. It'll be Minshew again. The Steeler defense. All right, all right. For some kick, Philgo. So see if we can block it. Drive, we blocked a, a point and after, I believe, last down. week or the week before. We block this. Nope. Oh, come on. You got to hold on to that. Oh, that'll leave him with a third and two coming so. up. They got eight yards there. 
Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. Oh, come on, Juju. Gotta do a little bit faster. Oh, hey, oh, no. Fourth and two. I'm going to go for it. If I don't get it, they got less than 30 seconds. Yeah. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Keep them from getting a touchdown here. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory, and you think the coach may have Ooh. some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media. They might get another field goal, but let's keep him from getting a touchdown. For this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Minshew, first and ten. Now a loose Ooh, fumble. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a foot race. He's no, 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 no. You stay where you're at. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Still got that touchdown. Hell yeah. The offensive coordinator just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone. Can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. <clears throat> How about the aggressiveness of the defense, yeah. though? They're not about, about baby. on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. Going in a half. Up three scores. Do it. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Just squib kick, so they have to build it. So Hopefully they'll seconds run 30 seconds half, off. They will line up to kick this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up uh, there. Now well, here ran off two. The Jaguars take over first and the Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how <clears> the head coach oh, yeah. That's a good first half. I like it. Be angry? Be I'm pleased with it. We up. Two offensive touchdowns. And defensive touchdown. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. No the interceptions. Going to be about two -thirds complete no fumbles. This weekend. So lots yeah. to get to as we check out what's going Got them to here in week eight over. yards rushing. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. With another return now, here's Westbrook. Oh, yeah. Turn out to the 27 yard line. Lay down, boy. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They begin the drive with Robinson. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Here's Minshew. Oh. He's got it complete to Thompson. Come on. Don't let him get that first down, man. Come on. Good, good, good. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Not at two. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still. Ended up with a solid game. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Oh, yes. Thank you. He stayed in bounds, man. He could have probably at least a couple steps to get that first down. Oh, he's going to do like a QB sneak or something. Alright, let's kill some clock. We up. Let's just. Connor, you're about to start running the ball a lot. Alright, 
Miles Jack there to make the tackle. Ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. Who got injured? That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. I guess Connor got injured again. They got Snell in. Somehow fast the snow can go. <laughs> they run on first down, but it only produces a gain uh, two. Come on now. Second down now. Take well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage. Help their Let's see how Samuel does. There we go. Man from NC State, it's Jalen Samuels. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because right, come on, Connor. playing this game now. Come on, back in. Pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and ten is Connor. There we go. Ooh. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I'm going to wind up actually getting him injured for, of 11 yards. for a while if I keep it up. But. James Connor and this Pittsburgh team is really yeah. good. He's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger. We can get another score. And kind of drain this until the fourth quarter. I might just start passing the fourth. Combined yardage that year. Try to keep Connor from getting injured too bad. But for right now, yep. I don't know why I ran into the back there. Could have gained a few more yards. Damn right they are. It's working too. Bam. Another first down. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. A well, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on Ooh. this drive. All right. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. Second and six. At the Jaguars, 11 yard on second down, it's Snell. Come on, Snell. And he's going to be brought down just Did he get it? Five at the six. Nope. Now it appears Aye. we have a stealer here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get Well, back. it ain't Connor because he wasn't out there. And the Jags with five, five Venezuela. Secondary now on third down. What's his name was? From the gun, they give to Connor. Oh. No. And he has the wow. first down before he's tackled. It's like it just like sucks you into that little fucking pile. That little lane there. Nope. Alright. Yeah. Under 13 rushes. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That or rushing yards. He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. They'll try to run it. Oh, God. I don't want he stops. It's like he stopped and like stuttered, like he didn't know where to go. I'm telling you, just go straight. Truck over his ass. Nah, I didn't want to do that. Oh, what the hell? Could have caught that. You know, just keep it going. I'm gonna run it. If I don't get it, fuck it. I'm already right here. Let them start backed up in their goal. Oh, oh, did I? Hell yeah! Just fell short. A little golf clap. Hell yeah! Ah. That's what I'm talking about. I know in hockey, that's called a hat trick and people throw their hats out on the ice. What about us? What can we do for this guy? Well, if I'm his teammates, I'm buying him a little steak dinner tonight, right? All right. Skirt steak, I'll leave Connor alone the rest of the game. Maybe. Like yeah, I mean, skirt 
Like I mean, skirts come on. Maximum. You can't give the guy skirts that he throws through. I might pass to him a couple, couple times or something. I'm going to start focusing more on the pass plays instead of rushing all the time. And we up four scores. It's almost fourth quarter. Yeah, if we get like fourth and short or something or third and short, I might run with them. But... No. Probably see if I can find a drag route first, though. There we go. Fourth quarter. Let's do this. Maybe can ignite things, and I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers, they probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the come on, sack them and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Hi, Haywood. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Minshew and Shark on the hook up there. First down, Jacksonville. Now Minshew on first and 10. And a scary incompletion. Almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Joe Hayden on So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Ooh. It's all over him like a spy monkey. Third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit at fifty percent. Three of six to this point. Come on. Stop him. Or not? That's cool. Oh God! Somebody. He takes this one down almost all the way to the thirty. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over twenty yards. Waiting out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten. Down at the 31. Again, Minshew looking to throw to Thompson on the screen. There we go. And he'll go down here right around the 23 yard line. To Chris Thompson. You got the big lead defense. Come on, guys. Good stop. And this is why you work on your tackle. Force him to just a field goal. Or another fumble. Like earlier. Like that. We're in interception. Either way. It's not a loud touchdown here, guys. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Gained 13 yards that time and another first down. Try to run it. Well, I thought three guys all on top of him, man. Y'all ain't getting it. Not like that. Got to work for it. And it'll be second and goal. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. They'll turn to Thompson. Able to get a you ain't getting it that easy, man. The plane as they stop it right around the one. Short of the goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Oh! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. It's incomplete. So it's I was trying to switch to him. Tell him fucking deflected, and whenever I switched, I guess I was touching the stick and made him move away from him. Oh, God, come on, guys! You stopped him like fucking three times already. Y'all could have done that. We block him every other time they try to run. Ain't nothing different. So y'all decided to leave him open. Well, I'm still up by three. NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire off season and even during the season lobbying. Come on, I'm trying to fucking lateral it. Let's go get it. 
because nowadays you got to score points to win games in the NFL. You but it wouldn't let me. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence in themselves that they can call plays and make plays. Come on, guys. Need those field goals oh, inside. hell, I wasn't even going to run. My bad. Sorry, Connor. I forgot I was going to start trying to pass it. And that's all they want to fucking give me is runs. And that'll make this a second and 13. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. Oh, God, no. I was thinking he was going to throw him over him. haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Let's see. Let's do it. Trying to come up with one there could not, but there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there, knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield, and you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback. Oh, the big play does occur down the road. And now I was hoping he's gonna break ahead of him just a little bit, but nope. Ah. Fourth and thirteen. I'm going for it. Just because we're up by three. Scores. They're going to leave me open like that. Hell yeah. I don't understand why it's back to diving. I don't want to dive. Oh, go back to formation. It's a student. Shedding it and turning it into a big play. You know what they say about him. It's not the first three seconds of the play that you worry about with him. It's the next three. Takes the hit and now he creates a big one. Come on, Connor. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they're gonna stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Damn. Second and ten. He shows you right there. He can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Open man here is Gentry. Oh, yeah. First and down. Just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nope. Gah. And that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. He can run. There we go. He will, taking matters into his own hands, and he picks time it lets me slide. To the first down. These type of players are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. Oh, yeah. Thank you for holding on to that. Oh, yeah. Vance McDonald, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm back up from four scores. But for them, I don't think it's in their yeah. DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is. You stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And no return here from Westbrook. This will be a touchback. 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not Ooh. appear that that's going to be the case. It's too much to handle on the other side. Four of seconds, play. guys. Oh, one last play. Of the way this one's gone. One final shot. They'll look to throw. <laughs> he gets. Should just let it go, boy. You get a sack on the last play of the game. There we go. We bounced back. We won. So yeah, um, we played pretty good that first half, second half. Uh, yeah, um, I guess it's all right. Um, I was happy. Ran a lot with uh, Connor. 
Um, he got injured twice. Um, luckily, it was just for a couple plays and got to come back. Um, I figured I'd kind of like off of that some, especially in that last quarter. Um, since we was up so much, I didn't really want to risk injuring him too much. But yeah, I mean, look at that. We allowed 11 rush yards. Um, it should have been 10. We shouldn't let them get that touchdown that one time when it's on the one, man. We had stopped them a lot right there. We should have got that, but it's just something. <laughs> something happened, and it didn't let us. But anyways, uh, we're 8-2 and two now, so pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, until next time, peace out. Be elite. Everybody love everybody.